Hello and welcome to the next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, back at the swamp. It's been a little while since I've played this. i um, been working on a couple of videos from our last holidays. I'm excited to get those up. And I can hear an alligator. This is not a nice place to be. So I just want to jump straight into some missions. Oh, that's it's right there. Okay. Looking forward to getting some revenge and wanted. So, Dutch. What's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Sweet. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. Uh, Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leave and love aside. <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Well, good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go. See those two? Stay out of sight. Okay, so I need
Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Look out! I know I'm not get to loot those guys. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> in front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh. 
Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country, you, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So <sighs> filth has got to be disposed oh, of. Oh, Our friends of oh, are gonna come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive uh, little maggot. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Call them now. You call them. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Jesus. Now what? I will want it, that's for sure. Town. I've got to pay up a bounty. Uh, I don't like the thought of going into town to pay it, so I'll be paying us and I'll get a vote. Got revenge on Bronxy, but I really want to get the Adrian Skulls. Watch it up. 
So our calm is absolute. Sir, welcome back. Got some bills to pay, huh? Thanks for your assistance. Good morning to you. Thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. Try looking for that one out by Catfish Jackson's. And when you get him, tell him that we're just railroad workers here. All right, so. The guy helped it. Hey, this here's the feller. The one that found me. The medicine man, huh? Helps with the mystery box. I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's pretty cool. What can I do for you? The uh, guy with the snake bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Hold him. Can't check it out. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. Awesome. Oh, actually, it was so awesome. How's your friend getting on with those new clothes? 
Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion. But each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now. But I've had my share. Anyway. Let's see to... Cigarettes. I cannot say to get rid of cigarettes. Cigar. That bouncy on the map down there. Hmm. Okay. Can wait. Hey. Oh, fence. Okay. Got some stuff to sell. Welcome, mister. First time to my shop. Mm -hmm. There's a shop. Sure, let me see. No, do you sell a bar? Not bad, this. No questions asked. Sure, sure, I'll take another. You got a decent eye for these things, by the looks of it. No questions asked. Folks come to me for crafted trinkets oh, yeah. and such. Okay. You got the right ingredients, I can take a look. Remember, hush, hush. Yeah. Essentially, I've got all the cash <clears throat> that I need for this game. Four thousand. A lot of money. So I'm not really interested in start getting these quests done. <clears throat> this game seems this just feels like it's gone on forever, so I'm pretty keen to start getting to the end of it to be honest. As much as I love it, uh, I've just got so much stuff that I need to do. Put up a number of Halo Combat Evolve videos up lately. I'm really enjoying that. 
very nostalgic gun. <clears throat> to play two, three, four, and then well, you go get five to skip. You get very well. Out of the damn way! Come on, get yourself some real food. I know food, you huh? got some money. Mm. Listen, you have to take this. Mm, that's real kind. I lost my money playing poker. Oh. Your problem, dead. I know where a good man is. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee <laughs> riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. <laughs> Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. <laughs> A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to oh. the harbor. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. So, so. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man! 
Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. Very smart. Come on, All right. let's get to the box. Pretty I've cool. arranged some transportation for us. <clears throat> Ain't it? The coach? We can't winny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? <laughs> you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <coughs> okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail?
Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. <coughs> Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. You can't so, say. How are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but... Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Call. Good God, are you men or mice? Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. Whoa. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Are you playing? Call the game. Nah, I'm out. Think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go then. Well, hello, <coughs> my ladies. <coughs> Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. Call. Give me good one. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Okay. Oh. Cool. I'm gonna call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Oh yeah. Shit. Shit. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. <coughs> Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. 
Okay, well then. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Two kings, I would. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! <laughs> No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Follow me, <coughs> sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very be good. Grabbing that. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Awesome. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Um. Gunshot. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days <laughs> anyway we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy which it surely will to the bar senor i hope you had fun sir <laughs> at the time of my life you boys sure know how to put on a show <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> ah! oh, Come on, Arthur.
to get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I ah. clean forgot to bring my gun to Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, <laughs> come on. Let's get out of here. Decent takings. Alright, well, I think that's all I've got time for today. A couple of the main quests done. I'm really looking forward to seeing worlds it's leading. So, tomorrow we'll continue. There's a couple of quests close. Oh, it's quite a <laughs> that seems to end. Photo Studio. Okay. Right. Still lots to do. So thanks for joining me. And look forward to the next session. See you next time.